Bowers & Wilkins is one of the most world-renowned speaker companies on the planet. You'll find their speakers in recording studios and mixing facilities around the world. The BBC, Abbey Road, and Skywalker Ranch are just a few of the places that rely on their truthful sound. The real beauty of Bowers & Wilkins for the vast majority of music lovers comes from their trickle-down technology. When they design a new $30,000 plus speaker, the tech they come up with eventually makes its way into their less expensive models. Bowers & Wilkins has developed more new types of materials to push speakers further than any company we know of. They pioneered the use of Kevlar, diamonds, and other exotic materials in their speakers over the years. Bowers & Wilkins has recently made a pretty serious upgrade to their 600 series with new bookshelf and tower speakers and a matching center channel. These are all the subject of today's review. First, let's talk about some of the technologies that have made their way into the new 600 series. Bowers & Wilkins had used Kevlar for its mid-range speaker drivers in the 800 series for decades. Their engineering team was given the task of inventing a better material that would offer significant improvements over the Kevlar drivers. It took over eight years, but they came up with a new material called Continuum. Continuum, when used in a mid-range driver, does not need the typical surround you see in most mid-range speakers, which contributes a lot to this new level of openness. Another factor is a great reduction in distortion. The combination of the decoupled dome and the tapered tweeter tube for the rear wave of the driver results in a tweeter that can extend out far beyond most tweeters on the market before any distortion or breakup occurs. The range actually goes out to 38 kilohertz, which is about twice as high as anyone under 20 years old can even hear. The sonic improvement is a more open top end that is very smooth and sweet without any hint of harshness. Bowers & Wilkins has also paid a great deal of attention to reducing cabinet resonance. The front of the cabinet is a matte finished composite material. By mounting the speaker drivers to this material, then coupling it to the cabinet, resonance virtually goes away. The rear of the speakers have very solid connections capable of either bi-wiring or single wiring. These types of connections are not very common in speakers in this price range, normally found in speakers costing far more. The 607 is the smallest model in the new series. Here we have the continuing driver material used for a combination mid-range bass driver that's five inches in diameter. Amazingly, the 6 dB down point for the bass is 40 hertz, which is just astounding for a speaker this size. The port is on the rear, but if you put them on a typical 12 inch deep bookcase, you'll be okay with the distance the port is off the back of the wall. When we tested the 607, we found it to have a very extended yet smooth top end. Bass was just astounding for the size, and if you position them properly, they throw out a huge image. It's really interesting how you can hear every nuance of the treble with never a sense of any trace of harshness. You'll be able to pick out bass lines very easily too, as they never blur things together. Our only complaint is in the area of dynamics. While the sound is beautiful, it just doesn't come to life on big dynamic swings like the next step up, the 606. The 606 is one of the best sounding bookshelf speakers we have heard in years. Like the 607, it's a two-way design, but steps up to a six inch continuum driver for the mid-range mid-bass with a much bigger cabinet than the 607. Their extra depth means you'll need a bookcase at least 16 inches deep for the best bookshelf performance. Efficiency is greatly increased on the 607 compared to the 606. We still like to see a good amp driving them as they really will come to life when you supply them with great power. The sound is very similar to the 606 in terms of tonal quality with an extended lower end. What you get though in dynamic improvements is not subtle. The sound just explodes into the room on big passages drawing you further into the music. The combination of the extended bass and improved dynamics makes them in our opinion well worth the extra $200 for the pair. The 603 is the only floor standing speaker in the new 600 series. In previous years, B&W had a smaller floor standard, but after hearing how good these 603s sound, we can see why they opted for just jumping up to the 603. The continuing driver is used in the mid-range just as it is in the top of the line 800 series. With it not having to produce any bass, the jump up in sound quality is substantial. The top end is handled with the same tweeter used in the other two models. Bowers & Wilkins adds two dual 6.5 inch woofers for outstanding deep bass performance. At Audio Advice, we love to test things to the limit. 
So we tried these out with the Cambridge Edge stack, which is about a $7,000 stack of electronics. They are able to reveal everything about the incoming signal and will get better and better as you improve the front end. However, you can run them very well on a modest home theater receiver as they are fairly efficient at 88.5 dB. When you sit down and listen to the 603 on a good setup, they will totally disappear and present a big, full sound that simply draws you in. The mid-range on these is by far the best of the 600 series with an effortlessness that reminds us of the $17,000 BMW 803s. Dynamics are fantastic, and those two dual woofers deliver tight, fast bass. But there is no question, this is one of the best tower speakers we have in our stores right now for under $2,000 a pair. The HTM6 is the matching center channel speaker for the new 600 series. In a home theater, by far and away the most important speaker is the center channel. If you cannot understand the dialogue of a movie, the enjoyment is just not there. We love the way BMW used perfectly matched speaker drivers for the HTM6. It has the same tweeters used in all of the models and two of the five inch continuum mid-range drivers. When you're listening to a movie soundtrack that pans from left to center to right, we feel it perfectly matched up with the other 600 series, which is exactly what a center channel should do. But the big win comes in the continuum driver used for the mid-range. If you set this up right, you'll hear all kinds of subtle nuances in the dialogue track. The HTM6 is the best under $1,200 center speaker we've ever heard from BMW. We applaud Bowers and Wilkins for including so much of the technology found in their more expensive speakers in an entry-level series. These are really just astounding for the month. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to our channel. On our channel, we review amazing technology from all around the world. Also, if you happen to be in the Raleigh or Charlotte area, please stop by one of our award-winning showrooms and we'll be happy to give you a demo of the Bowers & Wilkins speakers.